Hey guys, Officer Elio here, back with Coaster Crusader, What's New Jersey on, Coasters, and uh, we're gonna meet up with a whole bunch of people, including some of you guys. So we're gonna have an excellent day. Today is Thrillathon, which is um, the park's coaster enthusiast event in uh, late August. It's sort of um, like a replacement for riding of the bull because they're not allowing us to do riding of the bull anymore. It's kind of BS, and they're charging almost twice as much for this event. And El Toro's closed. Okay, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna start off negative. We're not gonna start off negative. We're not. It will get negative throughout the day. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, stop, Jason. We're gonna have a good day, and uh, we're gonna experience a bunch of stuff. We're gonna do a behind the scenes tour of Houdini's it's Great Escape. Be positive in its own light. Yeah, Jason's gonna be making fun of the park. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we're, I'm pretty sure we're all gonna be should, just ripping this place apart. This, this park uh, uh, is not being run in the best shape right now. I think the park president's last, last day is in like three days. No, oh, we're right up here. By the turnstiles. Jason didn't tell me this, but they don't open the turnstiles until 10.30 and it's like 9.52 and we got here like half hour ago. I'm, I'm mad at you. <laughs> we have to stand here for like an hour. It's called Hit Mike's like hair that pops up. Can you feel that? Yeah, he did. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I would never. The We're still standing here. <laughs> I want ride roller coaster. Um, sir, you're gonna have to get back to the back of the line. No, um, I don't know if they're gonna be able to open this. There's like three people and they don't know how to open the, the thing. There he goes. There we go. They're gonna break it. Look at this. <laughs> it's like very lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, oh, you're not. Everybody else is going in except us. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's that's cheaty. You were over there already, so you can do that. <laughs> These people don't know how to open a gate. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. That's ERT over there. Let's see, I I guess. I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Yeah, I I kind of wanted to. I don't know. We're, we're trapped. At, we're trapped. Everybody else can go in except us. <laughs> Guys, 12 people can't figure out how to open this, ga this gate right now. <laughs> There's literally like 10 people over there. Dude, one of the boards is like this. Dude, they still can't get the freaking thing open. They made us go to different lines, so we have to awkwardly like ask. Oh, oh wow. Okay, great. Finally. Uh, after all of that, that's great. Let's go to Jersey Devil Coaster. From 10.30 to 11.30, there's ERT, exclusive ride time on Nitro and Jersey Devil Coaster. So we're going to head over there now, get some rides in. Ride's getting ready to open in a few minutes here. There's a line outside the entrance. Even though the freaking sign says this ride's closed today. That's kind of funny. About to get up in the station here for Nitro. You can see Collarhood Studios up in the front with uh, Tom and Phil. And uh, I think maybe Jack might be with them over there. <laughs> yeah, Hollywood Studios! <laughs> We're right at the front of the line. There's like, there's like 12 people on that train. Oh man, it was just playing the Mortal Kombat song. And now it's playing some other garbage. Good, again. It's running three trains right now and they're running it. Oh, Perfect oh, interval. The nitro, right? nitro ops don't get any better than this. You got a big thumbs up there in the front row. Jersey Devil's open yet, but uh, <laughs> maybe that's why we try to fucking really do shit. Whoa, we just got off of Nitro in the back twice in a row. That was really okay. I don't know, I don't have an overly high opinion of Nitro after I've been on so many other BNM hypers that are better. It's a good ride, it's good for this park, and I'm happy it's here. I just don't really care to ride it more than like twice in a row, but yeah, it's got some decent airtime, it's a good floater. 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna head over to Jersey Devil and see if that's open. We saw Jersey Devil coaster testing just now, so we're gonna go ahead and get in line, which means I have to put you guys in the locker, of course, because of the strict no loose article policy. We just got off the Jersey Devil coaster. We were on the first train out. I think I got to like second of back row. Um, they originally like had me going in the middle row, so I kind of like dawdled around in the station for a minute, and then I grabbed like the second of back row and got that instead, because I'm not about to ride in the middle on this. It's not anywhere near as good in the middle, but it's a walk on right now. So you can see, you can just get right on it. Gonna ride Dark Knight Coaster just cuz, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't have a line right now. The park just open. Get a quick ride on it. We'll see if my friend Reese is working. This is his uh, unit ride. <laughs> he's, he's doing trivia. X2! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> This is what me and him do on long car rides. We do roller coaster trivia. <laughs> I would do that in college. Movie Town Water Effect. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We just got off the Dark Knight coaster. Uh, Reese was in there operating. It was so funny. He was doing roller coaster trivia, which is something me and him do a lot when we're on road trips together. Like we just try to quiz each other on like what we know about the coasters and stuff. So it's always really fun to see him up there. That's literally the only reason I ride it. I would know I would never ride this thing if it weren't for him. <laughs> the exclusive ride time now is about over. It's 11:26. I think it ends at like 11:30. And then uh, we have lunch at 12, so we're, uh, we're over here already by Justice League. We might as well give that a couple goes. Mm -hmm. Justice League over here looks like it doesn't have any type of weight, so let's go. Justice League used to have 3D screens and you used to have to wear glasses, but they actually took it away at the beginning of the season, so you don't have to wear the 3D glasses anymore. For me, um, this ride just doesn't hold up very well. Like The screens all seem a little bit off Like when you're shooting, you're, you're aiming and your gun sh shoots off to like the left a little bit. It's like not perfect. I don't know. The one at Magic Mountain to me is the best Justice League ride, and uh, I've only been on a few of them. 126,000. I could have done so much better, but like the guns weren't lining up with the screen at all. And then on the first couple screens, you can't shoot off to the edge of the screen at all. Like there's targets like to the left and to the right of the main screen, and you can't even shoot them because like the gun blasts just don't shoot up on the side of the screen. They just don't show up for some reason. But yeah, it's getting down to the point where this ride isn't. It's not as good as it used to be. It used to be so good. Back out here on Main Street, there doesn't seem to be a ton of people here besides the people here for the event. It's uh, actually lunchtime for us now. We have lunch in the catering grove. It's a Jersey Devil barbecue theme. So I'm assuming they're just gonna have a whole bunch of barbecue options maybe. It's uh, really nice that they're doing this. And then they're also doing dinner later. The dinner later is uh, macho nacho themed, which I'm just guessing is just Mexican food, which I'm excited for. Uh, but we're gonna head over to the catering grove now and meet up with a bunch of our friends. Yeah, as far as like the rest of the park goes, it's pretty dead. And I think that's because uh, two of the main rides are closed. Of course, I mentioned earlier that El Toro is closed, but I think also King Dukat is closed. I haven't heard a peep from it all day. And yesterday they had a whole fence um, blocking the whole area to get to King Dukat. So, yeah, it's a big shame. If those two rides are closed. What's the point in coming? Part of the event is this raffle here. They give you like five or six tickets to start off with, and you put it into each pouch for whatever you want. This sign I'm not really sure about. I don't remember seeing it around the park. We got patches from Mach 1, the right stuff, um, the 4D cinema ride from the 80s, and then Jersey Devil Coaster patches, some <laughs> some height requirement signs, superhero sign. I think I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to definitely put one in for this hat with the, uh, the old Great Adventure logo on it. That's a cool hat. We're going to put that in there, and we're going to keep the coupon. We got a little Jersey Devil poster here. You can take that home. That's awesome. 
this was uh, one of the backdrops they used for um, Holiday in the Park. They had like a reindeer um, thing. I think I think this is what that was from. I'm not really sure. I don't know if uh, anybody's gonna get that. And then here we have some some ride stuff. This is what we want. We got a a bolt from King to Ka. Some some cable from King to Ka. We're gonna go for that. I want the cable. Okay. And then a Jersey Devil track return. I don't know exactly what that is, but we're gonna we're gonna go for that too. Yeah, there's like, there's like three. three. There's like three. Do it, actually. Actually. Just do Jason, it. Jason, if you win, if you win uh, the granny sign, oh man. <laughs> if only they had a best of the west one, because you, oh, you would go there. If they had a best of the west one, that was immediate. <laughs> All right, I got my coupons here from the ones that I used. How many tickets did you use? I, I don't, this is my second one. I used yeah. two. I used three for this. I got the, I went for the hat, I went for the cable, and then I went for the Jersey Devil thing here. Should I go for the Jersey Devil thing? Uh, the not. Jersey Devil thing is kind of cool. It's got the paint. That's why I went for it. We're doing the raffle now. Oh my god, Jason, that's you! Wait, god, Jason. <laughs> I just want a fried chicken sign. Jason, Jason just won the stupid fried chicken sign. I swear to god, yeah, he's just coming up with that. <laughs> yeah. There it is, Jason. There's like. We checked it in. There he goes. Yeah, Jason. He does it. And now you, to, now you have to find a spot for that in your room or something. <laughs> oh, nice. What did you win in Jer Jersey Devil? Patch? That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's too bad the ride sucks. No, I'm just kidding. It's <laughs> pretty sure Jason just won almost a freaking Zach Brown band song. Is it uh, Chicken Fry is the song? We have to bring these outside somehow? Yeah, we have to go out the entrance. I'm just gonna hold it. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool because uh, the place this is from is called Granny's Fried Chicken before, and they stopped selling chicken, so now they, no, they, have, they, have, they have grilled chicken now. No, 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 rotisserie. Yeah, so it's like rotisserie chicken, which is healthier, but that it's selling fried chicken since like the 70s. Okay, gotta walk through the park now. The next song is country fried. <laughs> I'm, I'm frying that country fried. Oh, 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 no, he didn't. A squirrel. It was a squirrel. Jason, shoot it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I wonder if security's going to say anything to us about this. Hey, we just walked past security and they stopped all of us. Like, they are like, where are you guys going? And uh, we're just like, I don't know. We, we, want, we want these signs for the raffle. We're like, oh, hang tight. And they had to get, they had to get like security clearance to let us out of the park. What did you get? A green tea? Mm -hmm. Got green tea. I got myself a caramel frappuccino from Starbucks. It's really awesome that we have that here. I'm just like amazed. What the, what the hell is going on here? Oh my god. What is this? TikTok thing. Right, right behind me there, there's like a little uh, tent set up with a 360 camera. And they're giving out samples of a uh, new Coke flavor. It's called Coca Cola Dream World. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a unique flavor. It doesn't particularly taste like anything that I know, anyway. It's interesting. Fucking I did that riding the bull 2019. I took a photo. Gonna head over back by Medusa now. We got a, we got photos with the uh, park president. Jason didn't get a picture of them, but I, no, I, I have a photo with him like from like three years ago. Oh, okay. I, I never had a picture of them, so yeah, he's retiring, quote unquote, retiring. He, uh, everybody says he got fired. Oh crap. Yeah, he's leaving on like uh, next week <laughs> or in like yeah. a few days. We should. Oh, okay, oh, Jason, what do you want? What do you think we should do? Because this video is not going to come out until after he's gone. No, no, no. no what? No, no, no. <laughs> I just still him. can't say not it. Not about him. Oh, okay. I was going to say we should graffiti uh, Jason's Instagram handle around the park everywhere. That is, I do not. <laughs> Follow at New Jersey Coasters. Right here, at New Jersey Coasters. Right there. Pathway over into Plaza del Carnaval where El Toro is, is closed. Uh, Jason just put this on my head. <laughs> they have like a Fright Pass preview shop over this here. This is my favorite merchandise from Six Flags. <laughs> they just look like slime buckets. Oh, and then over here it's back to summer. Hey, we got mushrooms. Where's the mushroom sweatshirt? What? <laughs> What's this one say? I survived a critical hit. What does that even mean? Standing over by the, uh, Standing over by the fountain thing over here. 
This whole area usually just smells awful, like sewage. And they're like, oh, I can smell it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say for now, for some reason, like, I can't smell it. It's weird. I smell oh, wait. It. Yeah, I smell it too. Yeah. Oh, no. no, no, no. Oh, my camera did something funky right there when I started recording. <laughs> Oh my god, there's six people on that walk. <laughs> yep. I don't know if you could count this as a credit now because they actually don't have any water running down the drop here for this log flume. So, hey, if you want to get technical, you know, you're not running on the water, you're running on wheels going down that drop. I'll post that in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Um, we're not gonna ride it, because I don't know if I could, yeah, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Yay. Close the bridge between Medusa and El Toro, presumably because uh, they're working on El Toro. They have to have the state come and inspect it after they're done repairing it. And then also the the path to El Toro is closed on the other side where we were before. We're gonna go to Houdini's Great Escape now and meet up for our tour. We're gonna tour the behind the scenes at Houdini, which we were originally supposed to tour the behind the scenes at El Toro, unfortunately, of course, because they're working on it. We can't do that. Are we just gonna watch this? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I remember when you fell. Do you have that video still? No. I have the video. Yeah, that was like a callback to something that happened years ago. 2018, I wasn't even there. He jumps on it, it was wet, and he fell right on his back. That's pretty funny. I would have loved to have seen that. This <laughs> thing's deflated over here. That's all, folks. 90? We have catering, so we didn't bother getting food, but Anthony here's not part of, like, the whole thing. So I gave him my dining pass. Look, like, look at all the food he got. He got, like, six chicken tenders, like, onion ring. It looks like Johnny Rockets board. That's, like, huge. We're eating good tonight. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Look, at the very bottom, it says two hot dogs, but you can add a burger patty for $2.99. Add the burger patty to what? I don't know if Six Flags knows how much a pound of candy is. That's ridiculous. Right now we're just kind of twiddling our thumbs because the tour ahead of us is like taking a long time for some reason. One thing they did is they added this big El Toro mural to the back of the store. It's pretty awesome. Oh my god. Ah. Advertising the nano coasters on sale over here. And El Toro. Probably a bad time to do that. Yeah, probably a bad time to advertise El Toro. <laughs> Riding. We're riding the carousel because we have to stay near Houdini's Great Escape to get on the next tour group. So you guys like riding on cocks, do you? I see. I see. I will. You stay there. Mike, what happened? You don't want to ride the carousel? I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. You're scared of the carousel. I feel like it was really serious. <laughs> You're insane. Very scared of this ride. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Best part about this carousel is Mike contracted disease because I don't think they clean it. It smells disgusting. This is one of the only rides at this park that you're actually allowed to film on. Hey, you're missing out, Mike. Yeah, he said, no, you're not. Okay. So happy we're on the carousel and not El Toro. This is the best day ever. 
<laughs> what are you doing? He has trouble standing with his long ass legs. Yes, hi Mike. We're gonna get to the carousel right after we get off of it. Oh, well, unbelievable. We're waiting on this tour that's like running unbelievably late. And our dinner time is supposed to start soon, so I don't know what the hell's going on. They'll, they'll probably end up extending our dinner time or something. Not sure. I think I mentioned this before, but they're having exclusive ride time on the Log Flume, Runaway Mine Train, and Medusa later. I'm just not really interested in it, so uh, I'm not going to stay, and uh, we'll end up leaving the park probably right after dinner. That dude is definitely asleep on the, on the job. Alright, the tour is starting an hour late, but we're going in now. Uh, the boardwalk area is in the jar of Superman and Green Lantern. Uh, next to that, we have 250, which is Joe for Harley Quinn. Uh, everything in the Lantern area is Skyscraper, Buccaneer, Squash Butler. Uh, then we have the Heroes, which is Justice League, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, as well as Dark Knight. And then the far side of the park is 260, which is uh, Nate and Colin. Um, actually, do 250, and then Brad and Nora do 260 in dispatch. We're going off all the different sections of the park. Uh, ride when you're actually just leaning back and forth. Uh, very disoriented feeling, but it's actually a pretty cool feeling. Uh, so we will actually give you all safety vests, just wear them until we're done at the new stuff, and then you give them back to us then because we'll be in a restricted area here, we'll be in a restricted area there. It's easy to take them off and take them back on. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll answer the best of my ability. Going underground. Houdini. Oh, yeah. That is the DLC that is the computer of the entire ride. So it controls the entire ride. You have a special. If I could open it for you and show you, I would, but we can't do that because, you know, all the stuff. Uh, but we'll walk through there, we'll go in there, and they'll start loading a new cycle. So the pre show is right above us, if you didn't know. While the ride is running, there's also always, always a pre show running as well. So once the ride dumps, the uh, pre-show will then finish, they'll load that, they'll load another one, it's always just a continuous cycle. So we'll go in there while they load the ride. So inside here, there's essentially two different drums. There's an outer drum and then an inner drum where, where people sit. So you can see all the stains on the side here. That's all for people spilling their soda in the ride. Yeah, there's like a trap door right there. They're way, way up there. You can see some of the theming. There's a speaker and then there's like a, a box. <laughs> I don't know. And then it's like the control room is up there. Oh, is that a trap door? Yeah, so the way that these rides work is the outer shell can rotate 360 degrees while the inner shell that you sit in actually only rocks back and forth and it, it makes the illusion as if you're rocking in full uh full 100 360 degrees it's pretty cool vacoma manufactures it this was added as a part of the war on lines in 1999 with 25 rides added to a great adventure and it's really cool that we still have this one here because there, there aren't many of these operating we've been chilling down here for like 10 or 15 minutes and the ride hasn't started yet uh, and the whole room starts to tilt. You can see some of the lighting effects through the side of the uh, facade here, or the outside.
like change or something rattling in the... <laughs> I don't even know. And I think it locks back in place and that's it. We're leaving Houdini now and going to Medusa. Gotta back out of the basement here. Don't know if I mentioned this in the video, but our tour guide, I rode um, the boss at Six Flags St. Louis with him. He was like, I got the credit. I know I told you already, Jason. Oh my God, Sean. Oh my God. Oh my God, Sean. I don't think this still makes up for El Toro not being part of the tour and being closed. At this impromptu Medusa backstage tour. Jason, you give zero fucks. You know what my favorite part about you, Mike, is? What? You give zero fucks. take this car though I'll, I'll meet you guys back there the dive loop which is where the flamethrowers are right now the flamethrowers are not on on windier days they will shut off automatically on hotter days we will turn them off ourselves just because when it's 90 degrees outside you really are not in the mood to be hit by you know 100 something degree flame not exactly great feeling um you go through the dive loop into a zero g roll into the cover roll which has two inversions i uh, hit the mid course brake run fall down into the carousel turn and then into the interlock and corkscrews um what else? Will the planes be on at night? The planes will probably not be on at all today. No, we'll add the auger was added later as part of original Medusa. Uh, I'll let you guys get to the auger shop. I have a question. Yeah. When are we getting that Giga? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You I'll just mess with him.
Yeah, lots of fire is like right there too. It's like worn out wheels. It's pretty cool. I don't know what that is. Then we're going up here now, up on the staircase. We'll go inside the shed. Check out what's in the shed back there. God. And this tiny catwalk here, oh, like a nice 10 foot drop. <laughs> oh, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Just finished up our tour here at Medusa. Our tour guide, Austin, he's really cool. And uh, he, he's an enthusiast, so he was able to tell us a lot of cool information that we weren't normally get. We're skipping the line here at the Skyway, and we're gonna take a shortcut, get to the other side without walking. It's freaking hot out. I feel like walking all over there. Yeah, the, the, it perfectly timed with the music. Only running one, no, it was like 12, One bucket on the whole ride. 12, I think, or something. <laughs> no, no, one bucket. <laughs> one bucket ox. No, I see another one. There's two. No. What if I slapped a bunch of Bucky stickers like all over it? <laughs> there is like <laughs> no activity. We can't even see what's going on over by El Toro. If we walked over toward King Dakar, we could tell. Or we might be able to see some stuff. But I don't even think they're doing anything. I just think they have security like pacing it. Yeah, they have like security blocking on both entrances. Like down here, you can't get any further. And then over by the bridge, back by Medusa, you can't get any further over there. But if you're by if, if you're over by King Dakar, you can definitely see Toro from over there, but yeah, the view's obstructed. They're, they're probably working on the pothole right now. I don't know. <laughs> they probably got one security guard standing there to keep watch, and then the others are just sitting on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that they don't have to deal with guests. Yeah, probably. That's what I would Oh, you can do. see the 537 complex right there. Oh, yeah, you, you can. can. see the bubble. You can see the top of the bubble dome thing that they're building right out by the wall. Mike. What? Are you recording a vlog? Yes. He's doing a POV of the Skyway like an idiot. Are you a POV of the Skyway? No, we're gonna. There's none of the other way. No, we passed a couple already. Be enthusiastic! Oh, Jesus, that was loud. I don't even know if I caught that. Do it no. again. Alright, alright, one more. <laughs> Be enthusiastic! Yeah. That was one enthusiastic for this year's Thrill Thorn. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Uh, it'll be back next year during Riding of the Bull, I mean Thrill-a-thon. Yeah, Riding of the Bull is done. <laughs> I remember in 2017 we did that vlog and you were just so freaking hyper the whole, the whole day. It was extremely hyper. Because today I'm like not even... That's because you were like 13 when we recorded that. No, I'm like that. a half dead today. <laughs> no, you need the, you need the buy that light-up gun from just the same Yeah, we have to get that they light-up. They still sell them. <laughs> Stupid ass light-up gun. That if video's really funny. One, what do you like, think the odds are our friend Vinny's working on the, the side over here? Very... Ready? Yeah, the clearance. Oh my god, we hit it. How do you know? We, I don't. I didn't feel it. You can see it move back and forth. Yeah, there's definitely a clearance issue with that tree. <laughs> wait, wait, we can watch the orange one hit it. Ready? We're gonna be in the station by that time. No, 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 no. We won't watch. We are. Not yet. Ah. Oh my god! Yeah, does, uh... No, we just missed it. Look at the line on this side. Oh my god. Are you getting trained at the Fender Benders by my friend Vinny? We are the Vincent Platinum Fan. You guys got yes, guys. Hi, Vinny. Hello. <laughs> He's training, so he can't look at us. Oh my God! All right, well, good luck. Uh, the Make sure to pass the uh, written test. <laughs> Mike. We got dinner over here. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. Well, their tour went on a little longer than expected, so we got here to the Kickering Grove and they already did the raffle, so they gave all the prizes away. That's kind of lame. 
Sucks they wouldn't wait a little bit longer to compensate for the people like, that are late. But okay, we're heading out of the um, event now. I don't know. I didn't think it was a very good event. What do you think? I know why I'm not invited for VIP because I would complain. Uh, <laughs> let's just say you don't start a raffle when two tours are still out. Yeah, like half of the people weren't even there for the raffle just now. It was ridiculous. They just started raffling, giving stuff away before anybody had a chance to even put their ticket in. Not to a bit, mention. A bit ridiculous. But also, yeah, this well, event just wasn't run very, very good. It wasn't good. planned well. It definitely wasn't planned well. And I think they had to do a little bit of scrambling last minute because of El Toro. And that's totally understandable. And a lot of people were, were definitely um, anxious and excited to do the behind the scenes El Toro tour as well as... Uh, ERT, and uh, that's the you know, whole reason I came. yeah, that's I think the reason most of us came for this event. But you know what? Uh, I know that they couldn't really do much. Ride, you know, injured people. So I got a fried chicken sign. Yeah, Jason got a cool yeah, sign. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we got to hang out, and it was a pretty cool day. We got to see a lot of you guys and people that we know. Uh, you know, it was uh, it was a good day overall. It just could have been a better event for what we were charged for i know it i totally would have shown you guys some of the q a that they were doing in there with some of the higher ups but they, they weren't even allowing anyone to film it no, a kid behind us <laughs> tried hiding his camera filming it and the lady went over and be like i can see you're doing that turn it off yeah they literally are really strict about filming that whole q a session it was kind of ridiculous and not like they were even so saying anything juicy or yeah, anything yeah, like it was, it was just like you asked about, <laughs> this is one question um <laughs> So, is there any plans for more theming on Medusa? You'll see come Fright Fest. That, that's not an answer. Well, like, somebody asked a question, or like, uh, is there any chance of them bringing Bizarro back? Like, no, they literally just changed it to Medusa, like, this this it's year. Why would they? It's a stupid question. That, yeah, it, see, the fact that they were, like, not letting us film stuff like that is very silly. <laughs> but, yeah, the whole thing just wasn't very well planned at all. Yeah. Man, it's a shame we're leaving early because the event is still going on like for another four hours or so. But. Yeah, it's ERT on like the most boring rides for ERT. Yeah, that's why we're not I even going to bother. I would rather the heroes for ERT. Yeah, actually. Like Justice League or Wonder Woman. Well, the problem is Justice League is half broken too. Sure, sure. <laughs> I mean, Wonder Woman, I guess, would have been cool for some people. I probably wouldn't have stayed for that though either. How about Wonder Woman, Dark Knight, Batman? There's very few ERTs that I would stay for at this park, to be honest. Like, yeah. King Vika is one of them. Yeah, they should have done yeah, I don't understand why they didn't even include King Dakar at all since Toro is closed. They should have somehow worked that into the itinerary. Yeah, they just did. get rid of Medusa ERT. Get rid of you know, Pa. We don't need Medusa. Pa. We don't need Medusa ERT. We like. We... Imagine an hour of Pa and Zumanjaro and they <laughs> promise duels. I don't know. The rest of this video is just going to be us bitching about how bad this event was. <laughs> no, no. But actually, imagine this. This could have gotten people come and would have been happier after El Toro was canceled. We canceled Medusa, and we have an hour of just Zoom and draw and Ka. Every two minutes, they send dueling perfectly that, that every been cool. time. Oh, yeah. And they say, we're going to make sure it all duels, and everyone will be like, holy shit. Yeah, that, that could have been something um, as an alternative to what they ended up doing. Yeah, very disappointed with this event. Uh, I'm sure you guys had a much better time watching us um, in pain than... Yeah. <laughs> no, it's hot. I didn't include most of it, like, today, because it just sucked so bad. It's just, like, was... I'd say today was like a below average day at any park, even like, I don't know, man. It just sucks. Today was mid. Yeah, the only good part, like I said before, is the the uh, behind the scenes tours at Medusa. You get to see the inside of the main shed, which is unique, something that they didn't really do in the past. But yeah, we're all we're all pretty bummed that we didn't get El Toro today. I didn't say it's it's not even like it wasn't preventable either. You know, like maintenance can fix those potholes in El Toro. Right? relatively easily from what i've heard i mean they've yeah. done they've done it overnight they've before done it overnight and that shows that they were just lazy and caused an accident i have no idea what they were thinking at. like they just let the pothole get worse and worse until people got injured they and that's just like absolutely awful that they uh they couldn't maintain el toro well enough uh, to keep it open and you know what that might jeopardize the ride's future too i mean yeah. the state already wants to shut it down but yeah, that's gonna be it from us here today. We didn't we didn't even really ride that much. I think we rode uh we didn't even ride Medusa, we rode Night <laughs> no, we rode Nitro, Jersey Devil Coaster, and Sky Ride, and then nah, that was it. <laughs> I okay so we rode Carousel. Oh the carousel. I rode Nitro, I didn't ride Jersey Devil, I didn't ride Medusa. Oh you didn't ride Jersey Devil? No, I took photos in the queue line the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. Well yeah, um, so we're we're gonna be calling it a day. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to recommend the um, the Riding of the Bull video from 2017. You guys should check that no, out. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> Jason was like 13 at the time.
and he had like way too much energy. It's a really yeah, it's, entertaining video. It's a lot of piff. You need a, um, yeah, you need like a whole night for that one though, because the video is like over two hours long. That's how good of a day we had there. But yeah, you know, uh, better, better times in the past, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. A squirrel. It was a squirrel. Jason, shoot it. There, we got it. We got it. <laughs>